In our video about Julio Jones being traded to the Tennessee Titans from the Atlanta Falcons, a lot of people questioned. They said, Engraven, what are you doing with a mic in your car? How you have a mic in your car? My response was, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And the point of that is it's self-explanatory. Be prepared so you don't have to prepare. So, team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And the Ravens are doing just that. They're staying ready so they don't have to get ready. And they have just signed offensive lineman Michael Schofield. He used to play for the Panthers. He used to play for the Broncos. And he used to play for the Chargers. Now, uh, when I looked at his stats, and last year he started, I think, three games. Yeah, he played in 11 games, but he started three games. Uh, the previous year, in 2018 and 19, he started 16 games. Uh, and then 2017, he started five. And then 2016, he started 16. And then 2015, he started 13. So the point in all of that is that he has experience. Number one, starting experience. So he's not going to be afraid. He's not going to be nervous to get into the starting lineup because he's been there. He's done that. And again, this is all contingent on him even making the team. Of course, right now, it's just a camp body. And again, that's no disrespect to him. That's just the business. Right now, Ravens need more camp bodies. They are getting ready in a mini camp and training camp and all that. And they got to really sort this thing out to see who the best of the best truly is. Truly. Um, but along with his starting experience, he has experience playing multiple positions. Because I see that he's played some guard and he's also played some tackle as well. He's played both right guard and right tackle. So he has experience on in two different positions. And, you know, Ray, oh, Ravens, they love them offensive linemen who can move around and do different things. Because, again, if you, you don't want it to be a situation to where and of course, we don't want this to happen. But if, say, for instance, a, a right tackle got hurt. And it's like, oh, man, we, we don't have anybody that's ever played right tackle on the team before. Oh, no. Or if that same thing happened at right guard or center at, or at, at any position, the Ravens don't want it to be to where, oh, man, we don't have anybody that's ever played that position where we just lost our guy. So now we're going to have to put somebody in there who just won't know what they're doing. You, you want people to have that experience and that versatility because that helps your team be that much stronger. So with this signing, this is a guy who helps the team be that much stronger and adds that much more competition because the, the starting guys are pretty much set in stone except for the left guard position. That's the only position where it's sort of like up in the air right now between Ben Cleveland, between Ben Powers, and between Ben Bredesen. So we do, one thing we do know is that Ben is for sure going to win that job. Ben is winning the job no matter what. I don't care what nobody says. Ben is the guy. But which one? We'll see. So this is, again, it's, it's just, it's, it's a depth move. It's a depth move for training camp and for camp and for OTAs. They said he is taking the field today. Two days. So signed, sealed, delivered. I'm right up. I'm yours. Right here, right now. So shout out to him and shout out to the Ravens for just, again, staying ready so they ain't got to get ready. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. Later on, uh, we are going to discuss why this Jawan James move. It actually makes a lot of sense. I love y'all and we out.